Hello there, Aries. Thank you so much for stopping by for your weekly tarot video forecast. This forecast is for the week of December 6th through the 12th. For those of you who would like to have a private reading with me, then I do offer those either by phone or by Skype, and you can find out all about those and get all my contact information on my website listed at the bottom of the screen. We're going to do a little different format this week than what we have been doing since I've started doing dailies some days and the lives. We're going to do a little different format for the week. We're going to look at things a little differently here if I can figure out how to get this set up the way I want it. You guys are the first ones that I've done this with and I kind of decided this after I turned the camera on. So <laughs> this could be interesting. <laughs> Alrighty, so Aries, the first thing that I'm looking at talks to me about your environment, which is any place where you have energy or effort invested. Typically it's home, sometimes it's work, sometimes it's school. And what I'm seeing is that there has been some kind of a long-standing tension or misunderstanding that has been going on in your environment. You thought this tension or misunderstanding was over, but it is actually popping back up this week, okay? So it's going to have to be readdressed, all right? The next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about your sub just leanings and it looks to me like um, subconscious is your background programs basically like in a computer so this is, these are things that you're not necessarily consciously focusing on every day but your subconscious is working on finding some solutions and it looks like there are some things in your life that you would like to cut away from or cut out and your subconscious is working on how can I do that how can I make a clean break from those things or from those people, whether they're psychic vampires or situations that are not good for you, whatever it is, your subconscious is working out, how can I make this happen in as clean a way as possible, you know, without creating mess or drama. Next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about two different things. First of all, your learning style, and secondly, your communication style. So when we are looking at your learning style, it looks to me like you pick up information pretty easily, Aries, and once you pick that information up, you're able to expand on it without too much extra input from outsiders. Okay, so you can pick up information and just build on it and build something really beautiful on it um, pretty easily. Now, as far as communication style, Aries, you may be focusing a lot on communication with the divine during this week. It looks like the divine is kind of a focus. That really implies a lot, <laughs> actually. So, excuse me, we're going to look at a couple of those implications. With you really focusing on communicating with the divine, there's a couple of things that could be happening. There could be um, a crisis that you're going through that you feel like you need the help from somebody who's bigger than you. Um, but there also could be um, spiritual growth, things going on where you are growing and expanding and you're just getting divine guidance as you go through that. But anyway, a lot of your communication this week really focuses on the divine. Some of you could be talking about the divine to other people. Even if you're doing that, that's going to cause some expansion and some growth on your part. So either you're talking a lot to the divine or talking a lot about the divine. That's your focus as far as communication for the week. Next, I want to, <laughs> I want to look at work for this coming week. And what we have coming up here is actually literally my work card. So you could be... Um, going to work solid steady um, no big changes this week for some of you Aries you could be starting a new job this week and picking up work um, but I'm weird about work because I not only see it as how we make a living or what we do to feel productive in the community but I also see work as that thing that we do to expit to um, improve our own personality to make ourselves happy and so what I'm seeing for that is that you are really uh, doing a lot of inner work on yourself. You have a lot of focus going on on inner work, which is not surprising with your communication being focused on the divine, that your focus will be on inner work and really working with the divine to get yourself more in tune with um, with your highest good, your best self. Okay. Next thing that I'm looking at talks to me about um, 
basically your personality that the part of your personality that's being grown or expanded this week and it looks like what's going on is you are um, taking authority you are in charge of particular situations um, whether it's at family whether it's at work and so you're being grown or expanded in that way of being in charge and being in charge in a way that is respectful of everyone around you that you are also respected that um, there's honesty, there's integrity in the way that you're in charge, and that inspires people to want to follow your leadership. Okay, so that's where you're being grown for this week. Um, and then the next thing that we have coming up talks to me about those things that you stand for. And so this week, what I see you really standing for is um, sobriety, <laughs> not overindulging, uh, patience, um, those virtues that have to do with keeping everything in moderation, keeping everything uh, uh, a good balanced level. Balance is basically what I want to say for this week is what you're standing for. Now, how other people perceive you, they see you as somebody who's a good friend, somebody they can rely on, somebody they can trust. All right. Um, once we get more towards the end of the week and maybe even into next week, we've got some things going on. It looks like there is some kind of new love that shows up in your life. Um, this can be a new hobby that you really enjoy. This can be company with a new person that you really enjoy. Uh, but there is some kind of new, new love that shows up, something that you're really enjoying that comes in more towards the end of the week, I would say. And then as you are enjoying that we've got the two of pentacles showing up which talks about that you will be balancing that out once again we have this concept of balance so you have this new love there may be some of you this is also my card of juggling there may be some of you that if this new love is a person you may be juggling an old love and a new love you know and trying to uh, trying to see where it goes with both of them at the same time, not willing to uh, make a decision or narrow down your options just yet because you want more information. So there could be uh, this concept of juggling going on here. As you're doing that, um, it looks like there's a situation where you were collaborating with somebody and that is no longer happening. So this very easily could be the idea of um, somebody that knows that you're juggling <laughs> they figured out that you're juggling and they're like oh thank you I'm out you don't have to juggle anymore I'm just out okay that could be going on but if this is not about you know juggling people if this is about you know you found something else that you love and you're just trying to make time you're juggling time to make time for whatever this new thing is that you love then you know this could be that where you used to put time into something else you may no longer be willing to put the time and energy and effort into that something else because you want to use that time for this new thing that you found that you really enjoy okay so we've got that going on or it may be you know yeah I think I've said enough that on that and then towards the very end of the week what we have is um, page of Pentacles showing up which just talks about being ready and willing and able to put in work and effort on something um, this can be even giving somebody a message that, you know, I really want to go forward with this thing, whether it's, you know, letting somebody know down at the at the hobby shop that you want to buy this wonderful, um, what's the new thing, that you want to buy this wonderful high-end drone that's nicer than what you have already, or whatever, you know, but this is, you know, letting somebody know that you're willing to move forward and put more energy and effort into whatever this thing is that you love. And so there's there's two things going on here. There's We start off with trying to juggle, trying to balance, trying to keep everything that you love. And then one thing falls away or you push it away because you want to focus more on the new thing. And then we have a message moving forward of after that falls away. Okay, well, I've got more energy and effort and time. Now I'm really going to push forward with this new thing. And so letting somebody know that. All right, so that's what I've got for your week, Aries. I hope that you find this helpful. If you would like to get a reading, of course, you guys know how to do that. There's my website. You can figure that out. Uh, please like this video if you found it helpful. Also, share it. That does help the channel. Everybody have a fantastic week. I'll see you back here next time around.